Hi, I'm Austin, and this is Chandraka. We both work on teams that build tools to help you succeed on Google Play. So how do you succeed on Google Play? The first step is to reach and acquire users using the robust acquisition tools available in Google Play Console. Then, once people have discovered your app, you have to keep them engaged by activating and optimizing your product. For this, you need great data presented in context to help you make sense of it. Once you have a strong base of engaged users, the next step is to understand your user's spending behavior. Our unique comparative benchmarks can help you see where you're excelling and where there's opportunity waiting to be realized. Of course, none of this is possible without a commerce platform that's trusted by both users and developers, and that's flexible enough to support a wide variety of monetization strategies. Today, we're sharing new and exciting capabilities to help you in each of these key areas, whether you're just starting out, hitting your mega growth phase, or are established in performing. Let's get going. Chandrika, what's first up? Thanks, Austin. We at Play know how important it is to create an engaging experience for your users. We understand that engagement is one of the leading indicators for retention and monetization. That's why we've built some of the most useful engagement metrics into Play Console. We're also bringing you the best of our exclusive ecosystem insights so you can make more informed product decisions by contextualizing your app's performance against your key markets. Let's have a look at how they can help you. New in the statistics page is Compared to Peers, where you'll find metrics designed to help you understand how your app is performing relative to similar apps. Let's look at an example. The ratio of daily active users to monthly active users tells you if users habitually open your app. The team behind this app wanted to increase user engagement and with our new metrics, they can see the positive impact they've had with successive launches. But when you're planning your roadmap and making investment cases, you want to be able to determine if there's opportunity here or if investment is likely to lead to small incremental gains. That's why the new metrics in Compared to Peers include peer set benchmarks that track trends for over 250 different types of apps and games. In our example, we can now see that although the app's been successful in driving loyalty, their performance is still only just average compared to their peers. So there's plenty more opportunity to engage their users. These metrics enable you to draw good comparisons without having to worry about the size of your user base. In addition, they focus on high quality apps by excluding small, underperforming or abandoned apps. With our new engagement metrics and benchmarks, there are loads of ways to use our new exclusive insights to power your strategic decisions and product ideas to drive higher user engagement. We've applied the same insights and expertise in helping you grow your revenue by creating new, high-quality metrics, all with peer set benchmarks. For example, imagine that we want to explore opportunities to grow our game's revenue. The new Compare to Peers tab also contains key monetization metrics to help you determine if it is possible to increase the number of users who purchase or to increase the amount that they spend with you. Now, using the peer set comparisons, we can clearly see that the average transaction value is much higher than the competition. That's good, right? But when we look at transactions per user, there's clearly underperformance. You're not converting nearly as many users to buyers as your peers. There's an opportunity here to improve conversion. Is there an opportunity for new entry-level products or maybe offers or discounts? Data like this can inspire new product, business and feature ideas. And these aren't the only new metrics available to you. With 15 new metrics and data from up to 250 different peer sets across over 200 different countries and territories, Play Console now offers up to 2 million new data points a day to help you to evaluate your performance. To get started, just look for the Compare to Peers tab on the statistics page. 
Partners who have helped us test these metrics are already finding them useful. Plarium, one of our innovative games partners, used them to inform strategic decisions about both current and new games. So check it out today to see how your performance compares to your peers. You may find that opportunity you've been looking for to influence your roadmaps and inspire your teams. Now that you've discovered where your growth opportunities are, how are you going to capitalize on them? To do that, you need the tools to build a solid monetization strategy with the flexibility to adapt to new insights. Fortunately, Google Play has you covered here too. To tell you more about how Play can help you monetize your app, I'll pass over to Austin. Thanks, Chandrika. Google Play takes a three-prong approach to help you monetize your business. We do that by increasing your ability to access customers around the world, giving you the tools to help optimize your go-to-market approach, and supporting your efforts to engage and retain your customers on Play. Access means users are ready and able to pay for your apps and games. Play users now have access to more than 300 local payment methods in over 70 countries, and international cards in over 150 countries across the world. In 2020, we added 34 new local payment methods across 30 markets. We have also continued to launch additional offline forms of payment, leveraging new pending transaction capabilities in the Play Billing Library. We're expanding cash payments to more countries, including support for in-app purchases and launching bank transfer support in select markets. Next, we've lowered the minimum prices developers can set for paid apps, in-app purchases, and subscriptions on Play in 20 more markets across Latin America, EMEA, and APAC. With these new lower limits, you can now set prices in the range of 10 to 30 cents US equivalent in most of these markets. These ultra low price points enable you to reach new potential buyers with pricing that better reflects local purchasing power and demand. To help you optimize the way you sell, we'll soon be launching multi-quantity purchases, enabling a seamless user experience when buying multiple items and unlocking new ways for you to sell. You'll be able to configure which products are eligible for multi-quantity in the Play console. When users select an eligible product, they can choose the quantity they want to purchase directly in the cart. New multi-line subscriptions will enable you to sell multiple products as part of one subscription. You can allow users to add, remove, upgrade, or downgrade products when subscribing, and at any other point in the subscription lifecycle. We will also soon be introducing support for prepaid plans on Play, allowing you to offer users access to content for a fixed amount of time. Play will notify the user when their access is about to expire, and users will be able to easily extend their plan at any time before then. Prepaid plans will be supported by existing developer tools, like real-time developer notifications and the subscriptions API. To take full advantage of the features described today and the rest of the monetization features Play has to offer, today we're announcing Play Billing Library 4.0. At I.O. 2019, we announced a two-year support window for each major version of Play Billing Library. This means that billing integration support for AIDL and Billing Library versions 1 and 2 will end in 2021. If you're still using the deprecated AIDL integration method, we've created a migration guide to help you get started. There's also a video walkthrough of migration from AIDL to Billing Library. These are all available on developer.android.com. Now back to Chandrika to wrap us up. Today, we've seen how our new engagement metrics with exclusive peer set benchmarks can help you identify opportunities to grow your user base, increase loyalty, or drive habits. We've also shared our new monetization metrics with benchmarks to help you evaluate your performance and make better investment and product decisions. And lastly, to help you really take advantage of your large, engaged user base, Austin shared exciting and important features coming out this year with Billing Library 4.0. We've designed all of these features to help you, our developer partners, succeed with us. Together, we can build a safer, trusted environment for users to confidently interact with your apps. As always, Thanks for helping us make awesome experiences on Android with Play. And we hope that everything you heard today will help and inspire you to grow with us.